paper, scissors, one, two, three, shoot. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I win. So that means it is time to open a new box. Welcome to Faithfully Bearded, everybody. I am Tyson. Thank you for coming back today. Or if this is your first time, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox a package from a beard company. I'm going to give you my first impressions. I'm going to set you up for a review to come on Friday. So thank you for joining us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell with something. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video out and leave a comment below whenever I ask you a question because it helps. It helps everybody. So the company we're reviewing today is, well, it came in this big white postal service box and it's Wild Schwein Grooming. Wild Schwein Grooming. It has got to be a German name. I'm German and that Schwein just makes sense to me. So we're going to open this up, give you my first impressions and see what's all inside of here because this is a big box and we're going to do that right after this. All right, so I have my, my my trusty pocket knife here. My trusty pocket knife. It's a trusty pocket knife. You gotta have a trusty pocket knife in your arsenal. And we're just gonna go right along the lines and slit this open here so I can get right to this action, show you guys what's in here, because I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's in here. I've had this box for like a week now, maybe two weeks. Oh, snap, it's a childproof box. Come on, knife. Got it. All right, we're in. Take a deep breath. No worries, we got in. All right, so we got some Aubrey chores. We got more Aubrey chores. More Aubrey chores, more Aubrey chores, more Aubrey chores. More Aubrey chores. Whoa! We got a good box. Ooh, give that box a snifferoo. We got some cool stuff in here. Let me just show you what, the, what, what this looks like here. So we got some pretty decent packaging. I love to do unboxings. I think, I think experience of a company is part of the whole review of the company and experience part of the experience is unboxing and seeing how they package it do they do it with care what do they throw in here so let's go with the first one here you got a bubble wrap bubble wrapped something or other and it's that it's that bubble wrap that self sticks to each other it's the easy stuff to get open no tape here no child proof tape wowzers ood to the gods, but you guys got to check out this label. Check out this label here. Wow, that's some pretty cool details. Pretty cool logo. You got jojoba, sweet almond, grapeseed, apricot, avocado, argan, and then fragrance and essential oils. So you got a, a pig on there, which in other words is Schwein in German. Let's just shake up this oud and let me see what it smells like here. Ooh, this is a different, this is different. This is a very cologne-esque, sweet type of oud. I really like that. What else? Whoa. We got a double in here. We got a double, double, double schwine. That's a double pig. Double schwine wrapped up here. And then we have cedar and saddle. Same type of label here, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time showing it to you. Right out of the bottle, I don't get a ton of the cedar. I get like a leatherish type scent. It seems really clean and smooth, uh, kind of like you would be in a saddle shop or at a rodeo or something like that. Um, and then we have aged bourbon. Oh, snap. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for aged bourbon. Give it a shake -a Get that sniffer. We're all ready to go. Oh, I don't know if that's a... These are all good. It's really light. It's not like hits you in your face. There's no alcohol scent to it. It's just kind of that nice bourbon scent. Now these are just first impressions, people. These are just first impressions. We're going to do a whole week's review. More Aubrey chores. Because we got a whole ton of stuff here. Can I even get this done in a week? My goodness. I'm going to be putting oil on top of oil. Just kidding. I won't do that. All right. So we have Bay Rum. You guys got to check out these logos. I'll get a close-up of these or something. Bay Rum, a.k.a. not my favorite scent. Warning you. Let the sirens go off. Warning, I'm not a big Bay Rum scent. This is a really sweet Bay Rum. Okay, so I normally don't like Bay Rum, but this is super sweet. Oh, it almost, it almost kind of reminds me of a Pina Colada scent. There's got to be like pineapple and coconut in here or something. 
I feel like there's pineapple and coconut in here. Now, this is bay rum, though. I'm going to have to see what's all up in here for ingredients. And then we have Big Island Blend. Big Island Blend here. It's the Big Ol' Island Blend. Here we go. Ooh, that smells like... I think it's got some chocolate in it. I don't know, but it smells uh, tropical, but with like a scent of chocolate. Like I get chocolate after. I get chocolate undertones for some reason. I don't know. We got five so far. We got five so far. First impressions. We got another double schwein package here. Another one. So that means we have more Aubrey chores. We got fresh and clean and vanilla cigar. Vanilla <laughs> snap. Oh, vanilla cigar. I like my cigar scents, and I do like vanilla, too. He must have just sent me all his inventory. Oh, this is a good tobacco scent. oh -ee. This is like tobacco leaf and vanilla. Oh, you know how I love me, my tobaccos. You know how I love me my tobaccos. I do like the color change around the label on each one. Made in the USA. Got a barcode. Beep. See what that says when I scan it. Fresh and clean. Fresh and clean. He's got checkers on here. Let's see. This is a barbershop scent. That's a good barbershop scent. I got nothing wrong with that. It's barbershop scent. I like it. I like it. Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Throwing back to my high school days. Cool beans. What do we have in here? Aged bourbon moisturizing co-wash. Ho, ho, ho. Holy snaparoo. Oh. Gosh. Wowzers. Wowzers. Let me just kind of take a scent of this. Mmm. This is going in beard. Every day. Our day this week. That's going to be giving some moisture to the beard. And I got this big thing that's kind of surprising me ever since I opened it. And I gotta show this to you. This thing is like the size of a hockey puck. Like a hockey puck. Look how big this is. What is this, like eight ounces of pomade. Fresh and clean water soluble pomade. What? Pomade. Man, that smells just like, okay, right, look at this. This is like black, but it's like a gel. Oh, it's clear, but the tin, the container is black making it look black until you get it out, and it's a gel. I'm palmating up my hair this week to see how their pomade works. Wow. That's awesome. I love pomade. Molding and combing into place, enjoying the long-lasting hold. Long-lasting hold. So we got a pomade. Oh, snap. What do I see here? What do I see here? Oh, oh yeah. We got some pine tar soap. Pine tar soap. I love soap. If I didn't tell you that before. I love soap. Oh yeah. Look at this. It's got a little citrus in it. It's got some citrus in it. But pine tar. We're going to test that. We're testing that. I love bar soap. Bar soap's like my big thing right now. What do we got? What do we got? Holy cow. Let's see. We got some Wild Schwein grooming stickers. Check that one out. We have one where he's driving a hot rod. He's hot rodding it up. We have one just the name. Dude, this is on point. Liking what I'm seeing. Aubrey Chores empty box. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Pull out the muscles. What do we got? There we go. I got one right here. Don't let the, don't, uh, this is a sample. Don't think that that's the full size. Butter in the works. I like butter in the works. I don't think it's scented. Another butter in the works. Don't think, don't think they're scented. Okay, so these are little testers for me to test out. Get feedback on. And then we have Vanilla Cigar Beard Balm. Oh. oh, good night. Good night. Check that out. 
white beeswax in here if there's beeswax. Let's see, it's medium-ish. Let me just do this. Well, that might get towards heavy. It melts down nice, but it's tacky. That's tacky, that might hold good. That might hold good. Sweet. This scent, this vanilla cigar is just like, this is my scent. This is right where I love my tobacco scents to be. Aged bourbon, another, this is another amazing one. I mean, you mix aged bourbon with some vanilla cigar, and you just have, like, the best, like, imagine yourself for a second sipping on some aged bourbon out on your back porch smoking a cigar. I mean, there you go. I've never done either of them, but I'm just painting a picture for y'all. Painting a picture for y'all. And these are like four ounces. They're good size. He sent me a little note. Uh... Oh, I should have read this first. I plan on adding the co-wash and pine tar soap to our website soon. I'm still tweaking the butter, but here's a few samples. I might have jumped the gun. I might have jumped the gun and showed you co-wash that I wasn't supposed to show you. My bad. And the pine tar. My bad. Well, I guess this is R&D, and you get to see. Oh, dang it! I made another funny, and that wasn't even on purpose! Oh, man, it's a great day. It's a great day to start out making funnies that you don't even try to do. So I got a whole haul here from Wild Schwein Grooming, and I am super pumped to dig into this. These scents are on point, and even the bay rum that I don't like is hitting my nasal passages, and it's just making my nose hairs tingle. It's awesome. So I'm going to dig into that this week. I'm going to get you with a No Shave November series video on Wednesday. I'm going to hit you up with a review on this on Friday. And I'm telling you, like right now, just from the looks of it and the feel of it, if you guys haven't tried this out, you got to smell it. So I'm going to do my best on Friday to describe these in the review, give them an FRS score, final, end of the week score. I'm going to sit down and interview him, talk to him on the phone this week, find out all about his company and who else that is very, very big, might be using these products. If you guys know, comment that down below, who you think really big that uses these products and swears by them is, and maybe you'll be entered to win a giveaway. Why not? I love giveaways. Giveaways are fun. They're exciting. What's better than getting beard mail in the mail that you won? Nothing. It's awesome. I guess getting beard mail in the mail that you paid for? No. I think getting free beard mail is nicer than getting paid beard mail. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one and debate it. We're going to come in with an initial FRS rating today based on what I see here at 8.5. 8.5 initial FRS rating. So we're going to try it out and we'll come back to you on Friday and give them a final one. What do you think their initial FRS rating should be? If based on what you saw, what would you give them? Comment that down below. And until I talk to you soon, you guys have a fantastic day. Give somebody a hug, and God bless you all.